What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rutaro, aka Taro, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make gold with mining by comparing the three top zones in Northrend. Check out my website at tarowildguides.com for the free complete guide. I'll start with Shulazar Basin. I'll be spending about 30 minutes in each zone, and as I've said in other videos, this is the haven for all gathering professions, so expect to run into a lot of farmers. Always wear your PvP gear if you have it, and even be as creative as this prot warrior who just owned me with a stun grenade. It's okay though, I took a titanium node from him after this while he was killing a mob. Anyway, expect to do a little PvP and be prepared for it. Even with the fighting over nodes and mass amounts of farmers, I still netted 360 or so gold worth of stuff in 30 minutes. Alright, now for Ice Crown. Just like Sholazar Basin, I'll be here for 30 minutes. This place was okay. The mining route I made was pretty good, but I did have some competition. Some of the nodes were also in the middle of mobs, which was annoying, and I actually got owned a few times. If you haven't noticed by now, I neglect my warrior and he has crap gear. Anyway, the elevation changes and high ridges also made it difficult to easily circle around. I think I could have done a lot better job farming, but Sholazar Basin still has my vote. I got about 255 gold worth of stuff, and now for the last place, Storm Peaks. This one was the most annoying. Just like Ice Crown, it had a lot of high elevation places and was difficult to have a smooth route. The cave seemed to be the only decent place for nodes, but even that wasn't that great. The only plus side is there was no competition. In the end, I mined it up about 230 gold worth of stuff. Okay, so after an hour and a half of farming, I'll list all the items as usual, but before that, I'm going to check if bars sell more than ore. Sometimes it can be really different. Alright, so bars are more expensive, so I'm going to make those and list them. After about 4 hours, everything sold except the red gem, but I'll collect the gold anyway. Alright, so let's break it down. Chilazar Basin is the victor with 305 gold and sold items, and a Scarlet Ruby left over that's worth 55 gold. Ice Crown's next with 255 gold worth of stuff, and then finally Storm Peaks with 230 gold worth of stuff, for a total of 845 gold. To be honest, they were all very close, but Sholazar Basin was the clear victor with the most relaxing farming experience while netting the most mats. On a final note, farming doesn't have to be a chore. While you're heading to Oldar or waiting for friends to log in, hit up a few nodes, doing dailies, then why not grab some ore while you do them? I'm real big on multitasking, and mining can be combined with lots of other things you do anyway in WoW. Well, I hope this video was helpful to all the WoW players out there, and if you have any questions or comments, you can post them on my forums at tarowowguides.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button to the right of the video, and go to my completely free website at tarowowguides.com, as I'll be coming out with more videos and free guides to help all players have more fun in the world of Warcraft. Thanks for watching. Now go PvP or something.